America's longest war is over. The truth is, it should have been over a long time ago. But that's not why many Americans are feeling a range of emotions today, ranging from disappointment to anger to embarrassment. It's because our leaders made a series of fatal mistakes in the withdrawal, culminating with a suicide bomb attack outside the Kabul airport where throngs of people were desperately trying to get airlifted out of the country. The death toll is over 100 people, with many more seriously injured. The fact that 13 of the dead were identified as American servicemen and women caused a deep wound in the hearts of America because in our hearts, we know that it didn't have to happen this way. And now we find out that Americans are still stranded in Afghanistan. That fact is a tear at the soul of every man and woman who has ever worn the uniform because they believe as a vow of service never to leave anyone behind. And they were promised, as we were all promised, that no one would be left behind by our president. Because we've got like 10 to 15,000 Americans in the country right now, right? And are you committed to making sure that the troops stay until every American who wants to be out yes. is out? Yes. And yet he left Americans behind, trusting the Taliban that those Americans would be safe, breaking yet another hard and fast American rule. We don't negotiate with terrorists. The hundred or so Americans left behind will now be used by the Taliban, a terrorist organization, to negotiate better terms with America. In fact, it's already happening. The most important thing to remember is that everything that is happening now did not have to happen this way. Anyone with half an unbiased brain can tell you that we should have gotten all the Americans and our allies out before we pulled the troops out, before we closed the Bagram airport, and before we set any kind of deadline. And now more and more is being leaked out of the Pentagon that most of the generals advised vehemently against this. This decision was all the White House. A letter was sent by 90 retired admirals and generals to the Pentagon demanding that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley resign because of, quote, the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. There must be some accountability. The White House has to stop with this willful, callous, feigned ignorance of what the world knows was a disaster. I'm not, I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. Mr. President, on Afghanistan? I'm not going to answer Afghanistan now. Can you okay. That image of President Biden continuously turning his back and refusing to answer questions during a crisis will be one of the lasting images of this debacle. Like the image of desperate Afghans clinging to the side of a cargo plane and falling to their death. An Afghan woman handing her baby to a Marine so that he could be free. The carnage after a suicide bomb. The bodies of 13 American heroes arriving at Dover Air Base in Delaware, and our president continuously checking his watch during a solemn ceremony to remember them. America will remember. America deserves better. They deserve better. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.